We are learning more this evening about how contamination along the shipyard's property could affect ShotCon's plans for a multi-million dollar riverfront development. An environmental assessment determined that the site is contaminated with toxins including arsenic, lead, mercury, and more. It is the result of decades of industrial activity there. Channel Force Ethan Calloway has been looking into what this means for ShotCon's plans. He joins us now from the shipyards. Ethan? Tark, we are standing on part of those 48 acres where that development is set to go in. Now with official word that this land is contaminated, many are questioning its safety, but we found out sites like this are a lot more common than many may think. It's set to change the face of Jacksonville's riverfront in a huge way. Housing, businesses, hotels, and more, all included in ShotCon's massive multi-use development. But now we've learned businesses that once operated here left behind more than just vacant land. I mean, the contaminants, I mean, that's what you're expecting in a large industry, such as uh, shipyards or uh, uh, painting boats or building vessels like they do out of Mayport. Brian Pepitone works right by the shipyard site and says the findings of the assessment shouldn't change anything, adding that planners already saw this coming. I mean, it's going to be the same plan and it's going to boost the city the same way economically. So, I mean, what, what's the difference? He was asking for the money anyway to clean the property. There are various federal and state uh, procedures and regulations that uh, will have to be followed, of course, but they are in place uh, to deal with sites just like this. Jim Robinson with the city's Public Works Department tells us the soil will be cleaned and the property rehabbed just like other locations have been in the past. We have uh, many uh, brownfield sites in the city, uh, some of which uh, have, have gone through a development and dealt with the contaminants there. So we're, we're in good shape from that standpoint. Nearly 30 so-called brownfield sites are in Duval County alone, according to the Department of Environmental Protection. Areas like this one along Phillips Highway, where a Walmart now sits, and this one in Riverside, now occupied by a family business, all formerly contaminated properties, now rehabilitated and redeveloped. For Pepitone, word of the contaminated shipyard site doesn't surprise him or scare him. I'm sure there are uh, people who specialize in that field that clean it up properly, and they get paid the good money to do that. So. Uh, I mean, if they paid for it and it was cleaned up, I'd still feel safe. And ShotCon has asked the city to set aside $35 million to deal with these issues. We still don't know if it will cost more than that. We've also reached out to development officials today for comment, but as of this report being released, we still have not heard back. We're live downtown. Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, the local station. And Ethan, you know, this raises a lot of questions about safety. Have they said anything about specific changes to the, to the design itself? Yeah, Tark, they're saying uh, if they need to, they will adjust the design to work around some of these contaminated areas. But the city officials I spoke with today say they're confident this will be a clean and safe area.